Install the Century dash switches for the Phoenix. Make sure all dash harness wires are pulled through into the dash well. Mark center points for switch holes on each side of the dash faceplate. Then measure and cut out the appropriate size holes for the key switch and the light toggle switch. Peel back the protective film from the edges. To install the light toggle switch, disconnect it from the dash harness wires, making a note of the reconnection points. Route the connectors through the front dash opening to make the toggle switch connections. Insert the light toggle switch through the dash plate from the outside until it locks in place. Now it's time to reconnect the light toggle switch to the dash harness connectors. Connect the two combined yellow cables to the two center pins on the switch. Connect a blue wire to the top left pin. Connect the second blue wire to the bottom left pin. Last, connect the remaining yellow cable to the top right pin. The double bar icon on the switch controls the headlights, halo lights, and optional light bar. The single bar icon controls the front halo lights only. Fasten the face plate to the dash with the four provided flat head screws. To install the key switch, insert the provided spacer and locking washer onto the shaft of the key switch and install the shaft side through the dash plate opening from the inside of the dash to the outside. Go to the outside of the dash plate. Place the provided locking washer over the end of the shaft followed by the saved flat nut. Fasten the flat nut to secure the key switch in place. Neatly rest and secure the wiring at the bottom of the dash well. Finally, install the dash storage bucket with the provided screws. Double take, because looks matter.